Hello guys, we, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through scrum, scrum process model. Guys, this is also, this also comes under, under agile model. So this also will be under the rapid development. So basically this, in this also we want the product to be completed in a short span of time in a good way, right? Okay. So even this scrum model is also an iterative process. So scrum is an iterative comma incremental process for developing any product and managing the work. So basically this is not only a process model, even you can use this for your managing your work, for managing your work also we can use. So Scrum is an agile process to manage and control the development work. Okay. So basically initially once you get the product requirements, you will be placing them all in the product log guys, product backlog. Okay. So basically you will be storing everything here. So assume that you, are, you have got 10 requirements. So you will be storing them here. So there will be a particular guy or a team will be deciding about scrum planning. So I will be going through the theory also here itself it will be clear for you. So product backlog. A prioritized list of requirements is gathered here. So it will be from 1 to 10 where 1 is more required, more priority and 10, 10 is least priority. Okay. So sprint planning. So sprint planning is nothing but scrum team who are working on development will select few of the requirements which can be completed in a limited time of 2 to 4 weeks. Okay, so the team who are working here, they will be selecting some around two to five modules, which can be completed in a span of two to four weeks. So it's minimum of two weeks and maximum of four weeks. Okay, then they will be placing those requirements into sprint backlog. So sprint backlog consists of the activities which are which team do in this time bound. So basically we give four weeks, right? So two to four weeks in this two to four weeks, they need to complete the projects or sorry, not the projects, the modules which are in this. And in every two to four weeks, they will be continuously maintaining the meeting with the client guys in every 24 hours daily. There will be a scrum meeting for every 50, sorry, for a 15 minutes among 24 hours. So basically every day, like for 30 days, continuously every day, you will be having a meeting with your client. So basically this is a rapid, right? So, so they want the product faster. So there could be many changes in the requirements and there is no looking back if you did something wrong in requirements. If you are doing something wrong with and you did something wrong by taking the requirements wrong, there could be a huge issue. So that is the reason why the meetings are done to verify everything. Okay, so daily scrum meetings, meetings of the current progress and other discussions are done for around 15 minutes. And at the end, you will be getting the potentially shippable product increment. So basically, again, this is collected and again with the next Next to two to four weeks, they'll be continuing some more things and they'll be doing the process. And then they'll be combining all the products, guys. That's the thing. Okay. So a final product for that four weeks of Scrum is generated on which sprint reviews will be done, guys. So basically sprint reviews will be done again on this also. And they will be giving what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages. They'll be giving both. So what they like and what they didn't like. So based on that, the next splints will be continued. Okay. Okay. So this is just an introduction about Scrum model, guys. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this Scrum model. So in the next lecture, we are going to start with some basic principles guys. We are moving on to the next unit. So in the next unit, we'll be discussing mainly about the engineering uh, software engineering principles and the requirement gathering, how requirement gathering. So basically the next th second, third, fourth and fifth units will all belongs to the steps that we followed. Like I, I was saying about the steps, right? Like, uh, so just give me a second, like planning, modeling, construction or coding or testing so these steps we will be discussing them in our next units guys like in depth like the whole unit will continuously tell about those things only okay so let us continue in the next lecture with the principles and before that i'll be just doing a small review video of the first unit also okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching